our countries keep holding on to these colonial laws uh, when they were actually designed to police black and brown bodies um, of colonial subjects. In Namibia, we have a sodomy law. It really creates a situation where um, service providers um, who are bigots refuse services to LGBTIQ plus persons. I am uh, currently a litigant um, uh, to bring a constitutional case um, in front of our courts to ensure that this law gets removed. I work with Positive Vibes Trust um, as well as the Diversity Alliance of Namibia. Positive Vibes Trust uh, is, a, is, is a global organization started in Namibia working on issues of LGBTIQ plus and other marginalized groups. Uh, and the Diversity Alliance, uh, on the other hand, is a local network of organizations uh, representing issues around LGBTQ plus people, sex workers, as well as feminist women's rights. it's important for us to speak to the missions here to show them that um, they are not working in a vacuum they are working for people like us um, and that the work that they do whether it is a fight about words and a specific wording within an international policy that it does mean something and it has an impact on people like me on the ground as a gay man uh, who's HIV positive. I um, got HIV at the age of 25 years. Um, at that time, in 2000, 1999, there was nothing in our policy, nothing in our national campaign and national response that showed that I was at risk. Um, it took a lot of work uh, from my side and other activists to raise these issues, to get on the table um, and to be included. It is really good to come back um, to the nations, especially friendly nations here at the UN, to impress on them um, the need to go further uh, on a global scale to ensure that people actually have the information that they need around pandemics. But really, the pandemic is a low bar. We need to go even further to ensure that people are economically strengthened, that they are safe in their homes. I think the, the basic issue um, that we are bringing forward, or my personal advocacy, is around the right to love. Being 48 now, it is important to signal to the young people, um, those who are only now becoming of age, that it is okay to be gay. It is okay to love who you love, and it's not okay to hide away uh, who you truly are from the world, because our light, which is so vibrant of every human being, needs to be shown in the world, and we can only do that when we are true to ourselves. And we need to make sure that our legal frameworks, our social attitudes are in line with this message, and that's why I do advocacy.